Used Volkswagen Tiguan Review A full used buyer's guide on the Volkswagen Tiguan covering the Tiguan MK1, 2008-2016. Verdict It's not the most exciting car, but the Tiguan provides a generally painless ownership experience. We ran a 2.0 TDI for over 15,000 miles and 12 months, and it proved a hit. Capable of over 40 mpg, some owners get 50 mpg plus, the Tiguan impressed with its high-speed refinement, classy cabin, and excellent practicality. But there are cheaper compact subs that are also fine used buys. Still, the VW is easy to recommend if you're not heading off-road, while it's a talented car, it's better when driven on the tarmac. Volkswagen didn't rush to build its first SUV, but when it did in the shape of the Touareg, which reached dealers in 2003 it hit the spot. The Touareg was a big car, though, the brand needed something smaller and more affordable to make an impact with 4x4 fans. That's just what it did with the Tiguan, which arrived here nine years ago. In typical VW fashion it featured a rather conservative design inside and out, plus it wasn't much fun to drive. Yet it was well built, easy to live with and came with some fine engines and transmissions, which is why it proved a hit. The original was replaced in 2016 by a new car, but now a MK1 Tiguan can be yours from £6,000. Models covered the Volkswagen Tiguan first appeared in 2008 and was on sale for eight years before behind replaced by the second generation model in 2016. It's the original MK1 that we're focusing on in this review. Volkswagen Tiguan MK1, 2008-2016, compact SUV has a reputation for quality, and looks good value. Volkswagen Tiguan MK1 History the Tiguan arrived in February 2008 with a 1.4 TSI petrol or 138 bhp 2.0 TDI diesel, a 168 bhp 2.0 TDI followed two months later. There were initially S, SE, and Sport trims, R-Line was added in April 2009 and Match replaced SE in May 2010. Meanwhile, Escape models were more capable off-road, they had underbody protection, hill descent control and a revised nose for a steeper approach angle. From autumn 2008 there was a 2.0 TSI in 168 bhp or 198 bhp guises. The Tiguan initially came with 4WD only, from November 2008 there were 1.4 TSI and 2.0 TDI 140 front wheel drive options. A facelift in September 2011 brought a 2.0 TDI 110, more efficient engines and extra driver assistance systems. Which one should I buy? Most Tiguans are diesels, and you want one of these if you'll be towing, just ensure any purchase has had the diesel emissions fix carried out. But don't overlook the petrol engines, they're not too thirsty and cost less to service, even if road tax bills are higher. All examples come with alloys, ESP, climate control, powered windows all round, electrically adjustable mirrors and remote locking. SE slash match spec adds Bluetooth, parking sensors, tire pressure monitoring and a DAB radio, while sport models have 18-inch wheels. Our line Tiguans get 19-inch alloys, body styling and firmer suspension, check the ride is bearable before buying. The factory fitted integral hitch works brilliantly if you're towing, other desirable options include a panoramic glass roof and DSG semi-automatic transmission, although the manual gearboxes are more durable. Alternatives to the VW Tiguan MK1 The market is awash with compact subs, and the Renault Katjar was the highest rated in our latest driver power satisfaction survey. But because the car only launched in 2015, Prices start at £14,000. The Subaru Forester, 2012 on, was the next best ranked model, finishing 8th overall thanks to its reliability, build quality, and practicality. Skoda's Yeti came first or second in the survey five times in a row so it's a brilliant all-rounder, it dropped to 16th in 2016. 
For value it's hard to beat the Ford Kuga, which is good to drive and in plentiful supply, Mazda CX-5 shares these attributes. Also consider the Toyota RAV4, Honda CRV, Kia Sportage, Nissan Qashqai and Hyundai iX35, which are fine choices. What to look for? Steering. The power steering can fail, especially in sub-zero temperatures. A control unit failure is usually to blame, but it can be the steering rack itself. Parking brake. The electronic parking brake can refuse to release. This can be because the driver's seat belt isn't latched, or the clutch isn't fully depressed. Electrical woes. Faulty electrics can be down to damaged fuse boxes, which have been known to melt because of the high currents being passed through them. Aircon. Check that the air conditioning or climate control works properly. If not, it may be due to switch gear failure rather than the compressor. Interior. Not only is the Tiguan's cabin as conservatively designed as you expect from a VW, it's also easy to use, comfortable and feels durable. Space in the rear is good, the rear seat slides back and forth for added versatility. Boot capacity stands at 505 liters with the seat up or 1510 liters when it's folded. Running costs. The Tiguan offers fixed, 12 month slash 10 comma 000 miles, or variable, up to 2 years slash 20 comma 000 miles, service intervals. Costs for the latter vary, but expect to pay £164 for a minor checkup on the fixed rate plan and £329 for a major one. A new cam belt is needed on all diesels every 5 years or 130,000 miles, for £434, petrol engines are chain driven. Fresh brake fluid is needed after 3 years then every 2 years, at £64, while coolant is checked every service and topped up as necessary, there's no schedule for replacement. A biennial aircon service costs £80. Recalls The Tiguan has been recalled four times. The first, in July 2008, related to an electrical short circuit in the auxiliary cabin heater on diesels. Then in December 2011, 2.0 TDs built from 2009 to 11 were recalled over a potential fuel leak. Failure of the child door lock mechanism on Tiguan's produced between November 2015 and April 2016 led to a further recall in June 2016. And last month, VW called back examples built from August to October 2016 because of the risk of the front seat backs failing in the event of a collision. On top of this, check that 2.0 TDI models have had the diesel emissions fix.